For this curiosity exercise, I'd like to invite you to start where you are. Practice being curious about this present moment. What's going on in this present moment? Take an interest in what you can see and hear and smell. Experiencing your five senses right now and being interested, deliberately curious about what's happening in this moment for you. Take an interest in your body sensations as well. Noticing the contact your body makes with the floor or seat. Being curious and interested in the sensations that your body experiences. Take an interest and a sense of wondering and exploration with your feelings right now. Do you notice pleasant or unpleasant emotions? Being curious about where your mind is tending to wander to. So far in these first couple minutes, has your mind been focused on my words? Has it been focused on your body's experience and your five senses? Or has your mind wandered off? And if so, be curious about the topics that it went to. Are there particular patterns, themes, of where your mind is jumping off to? Also, practice being curious in this present moment with your breathing. Being interested in this breath and this next inhale. Each breath brings you something new to notice, something new to discover. So can you practice being curious about the fullness of this inhale and the experience of it in your body? And might you practice being curious about this exhale? And the sensations you experience with the exhale. It's interesting to notice that you can bring this strength of curiosity to any present moment and to any breath. And now I'd like to invite you to bring your curiosity to a different experience. I'd like to challenge you to bring curiosity to a person or activity that you dislike. So you might consider a person in your life, maybe it's a family member or a colleague, 
whom you have some sense of dislike for. Or you might imagine and picture a particular situation, a situation that you don't like doing. For example, a household chore, like maybe washing the dishes or vacuuming or something like that. And if you can just image that person or that activity briefly in your mind right now, just calling it forth or calling the person forth, I'd like to invite you to pay attention to this person or activity in a new way. In a way that involves your looking for and discovering three novel things about the person or about the situation. It might be three novel or new details about the person that maybe you hadn't noticed before. And these novel details might be neutral. They don't have to be good or bad. It might be details about things that that person likes things that are in their office or environment, unique things or nice things that they talk about, details about their appearance, their clothes, about how they handle things, but three novel things. And if you're picturing a situation, for example, vacuuming. You might think of three novel aspects of the vacuuming. One might relate to the sense of touch and the, the movement and the swaying of the vacuum. Another detail might relate to the sound. And yet another novel thing that you'd notice might have to do with the visual appearance, the shape of the vacuum. There's really a, almost no limit to the amount of novel qualities of a person or situation that you could notice. So I'm just challenging you to come up with three. Sometimes it's helpful to follow one's breathing while doing this kind of reflecting. Because when we're feeling and noticing our inhale and exhale, we are in the present moment. And so the breathing helps to anchor us into the moment as we reflect or imagine or think. I want to encourage you that the next time that you are with that person or doing that activity to apply your curiosity by noticing these three novel things while you're doing the activity or while you're with the person. And finally, I want to encourage you to be curious and interested in what happens. Be curious about your experience and what you notice. Let's conclude this curiosity meditation by returning our attention fully to our in-breath and out-breath, being curious about this breath and this breath. 